The Simpsons has entertained families for over 27 years with silly jokes and profound ironic truths. But did you know they also had a knack for predicting the future? Stick around for the ultimate prediction that involved the entire universe. If you're new here, subscribe to the Things channel so you are the first to see our new videos. And click on the like button if you enjoyed this one. Now, check out 20 times The Simpsons predicted the future. Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga appeared on The Simpsons to perform a show that blew everyone's minds in Springfield. In the performance, she flew above the crowd on wires while fire and sparks shot out of her metallic bra. Five years later, Gaga jumped off the top of the stadium, attached to wires to fly over the Houston crowd for the Super Bowl halftime show. Now, since Lady Gaga was the actual voice of her own character in The Simpsons episode, odds are she may have been unknowingly influenced by this cartoon concert. Could this have informed her decision to fly over the Houston crowd five years later? You be the judge. All you can eat. We all know Homer Simpson as the beer-drinking, food-loving, oafish family man who makes foolish decisions but always seems to land on his feet. We credit that to his supportive family. But did you guys see the episode where he sued the all-you-can-eat restaurant for turning him away before he was full? Seems too ridiculous to happen in real life, right? Guess again. 20 years later, a ticked-off customer at an all-you-can-eat fish fry restaurant spearheaded a one-man protest because the restaurant turned him away after he ate over a dozen fish. The guy said he was still hungry and the restaurant was guilty for false advertising. The Siegfried and Roy Tiger Attack It's only natural to think that the wild jungle cats would probably object to being captive entertainers for a bunch of drunk gamblers in Las Vegas. In 1993, 10 years before the actual tiger attack, The Simpsons did an episode showing a white tiger riding a unicycle, wearing a spinning hat, and smoking a pipe for the Siegfried and Roy show. The tiger fondly remembers his life in the jungle before they shot him with a tranquilizer gun and brought him to the stage. Then he attacks his captors. While the real life incident was unfortunate, many of us did see that coming. We hope you have recovered, Roy. Three-Eyed Fish Do you remember the Simpsons episode where Bart caught a three-eyed fish in the pond near the nuclear power plant? That's too crazy to actually happen, right? Get ready to be totally creeped out. Say hello to this real three-eyed wolf fish from Argentina who grew up in a reservoir fed by a nuclear power plant. What's really uncanny is the plant owner was running for political office just like Mr. Burns in the Simpsons episode. In the show, Marge cooks the fish and serves it to Mr. Burns who spits it out, effectively ruining his political chances. Though nobody is planning to cook and serve this real live fish, they plan to embalm it for prosperity. Ebola outbreak. Did you know that the Simpsons predicted the outbreak of Ebola virus 17 years before it actually happened? In the episode, Bart is sick and Marge tells him to read Curious George and the Ebola virus. This episode came out in the 90s before any major outbreak of the virus. In 2014, nearly 19,340 cases of Ebola were reported in eight countries. The virus killed 7,518 people, making it one of the most deadly outbreaks in history. Showing a contagious monkey on a book probably made for a funny joke back then, but people probably wouldn't be laughing at that today. How did The Simpsons predict that one? The Tamako Plant. In this episode, Homer takes the family to stay on his grandpa's old farm. Where he is there, Homer succeeds in growing the world's first tomato, tobacco hybrid plant, and calls it the Tamako Plant. Bart eats these tomacos and gets hopelessly addicted to them, and Homer turns down an offer from a cigarette company to buy the plant. This inspired a hardcore Simpsons fan by the name of Rob Bauer to create his own tobacco plant, and he actually succeeded. The creators of the show were so impressed, they invited Bauer and his family to their offices, where they tried the plant themselves. Faulty Voting Machines Remember in 2012, when that voting machine in Pennsylvania had to be removed because it was switching votes for Obama into votes for Romney? Well, The Simpsons predicted that too. In the beginning of the episode, Homer tries to vote for Obama on an electric voting machine. Every time he hits the button for Obama, it counted as a vote for McCain. When Homer figures out the machine is rigged, the machine sucks him up and tries to eat him. That episode came out in 2008, four years before this happened in real life. Well, aside from the machine eating people part, many people had this fear about electronic voting machines. The first autocorrect fail. In 1994, there was a fancy device called the Newton that was supposed to be cutting edge technology. It is a distant ancestor of the iPhone. In the episode, the school bullies write a memo into the device to remind them to beat up Martin, but the device autocorrects it to eat up Martha. Apparently, the device had pretty poor handwriting recognition. The former director of engineering for the iOS apps at Apple said this episode served as an inspiration for them to get the iPhone keyboard right. Way to go, Simpsons. Smart watches. 
Speaking of technology, did you know the Simpsons also predicted the invention of smartwatches? In 1995, they aired the futuristic episode called Lisa's Wedding, in which Lisa's fiance makes a phone call with his watch. This is 20 years before the invention of the Apple Watch. Maybe the writers of the show should get some patents pending. They could be super rich by now. If you want to find out about future trends in technology, look no further than this seemingly innocent cartoon. What we want to know is, will the alien invasion come true too? 3D Printer in a 2005 episode titled Future Drama, Marge Simpson takes a picture of Bart and Lisa the night of their senior prom. When she takes the picture with what looks like a normal Polaroid camera, the photo quickly transforms into a 3D cake with Bart and Lisa's picture on it. It wouldn't be until nine years later that the tech world introduced 3D printers. Say hello to the Fudini. It's capable of printing pasta, burgers, and chocolate. The printer uses edible ingredients that are stored in stainless steel capsules. We are wondering just how good this printed food tastes. Trump presidency. The majority of Americans were dumbfounded when Donald Trump was elected as the 45th president of the United States. But if they watched The Simpsons, they could have expected it. In an episode titled Bart to the Future, Lisa plays Trump's successor, saying they inherited a large budget crunch from President Trump. In the episode, an Indian casino manager tells Bart what his future will look like in 30 years. He predicts that Lisa will be America's first straight female president and Bart will have a post Detail. And here we are, 18 years later, and President Trump is in office. Maybe the creators should be betting on future events at the casino. The God Particle In the 1998 episode where Homer tries to become an inventor, a physicist noticed something pretty remarkable on the chalkboard Homer is using. Physicist and author Dr. Simon Singh shared that he saw the solution for Higgs boson, also known as the God Particle mass on Homer's blackboard. The Higgs boson is an elementary particle that helps explain the mass of other particles in the universe. It was officially confirmed in 2012, 14 years after Homer scratched out the equation on the chalkboard. Way to go, Homer! They call it the God particle because the Higgs was a concept of biblical proportions. Oh, and Homer also invented an electric hammer. The Shard. There's another remarkable prediction in the Lisa's wedding episode. In the episode, Lisa takes a trip to London. Next to the digital Big Ben clock tower, you can see a skyscraper behind the tower bridge that looks crazy similar to a future building called the Shard. The Shard wasn't erected until 2009 in the exact same location 14 years after this episode aired. The building wasn't complete until 2012. How did they know that? Seriously, our minds are blown. The Simpsons even predicted the year span in which the building would be built. In the episode, a fortune teller shows Lisa what her wedding would be like in the year 2010, just two years after the building was finished. Robot Librarians Here's another prediction from Lisa's wedding episode. The creator Theaters revealed the existence of robot librarians who had replaced human librarians. This is super eerie because over 20 years later, these robotic students from the University of Aberystwyth invented a prototype for a walking library robot. Scientists in Singapore are also testing their own robot librarians. We wonder if they will be able to shush loud students the same way Ms. Thermopolis did in our school library. Do these robots come with stern expressions and waggling fingers? Either way, the Simpsons predicted it first. Are they geniuses or what? Robots are the wave of the future. Lunch Lady Doris. The Simpsons had a lot of fun joking about all the gross things that could be in school lunches. But who knew their predictions would actually become fact? Take the horse meat scandal for example. In 1994, Lunch Lady Doris was digging into a barrel of assorted horse parts to feed the school children. We were sure that was too gross to become a reality. Boy, were we wrong. Nine years later, the Food Safety Authority of Ireland found horse DNA in beef burger samples in supermarkets. Don't worry, they arrested the men responsible for this scandal. Lunch Lady Doris will have to get her lunch meat somewhere else. Disney buys 20th Century Fox. In the 1998 episode, When You Dish Upon a Star, Homer pitches a script which is produced by Brian Grazer and Ron Howard. It's being produced at the studio at 20th Century Fox, but if you look closely at the sign, it says a division of Walt Disney Company. 20 years later, in December of 2017, Disney bought 20th Century Fox for a cool $52.4 billion. With the purchase, they gained control of the X-Men, Avatar, and you guessed it, The Simpsons. But how did they know 20 years ago 
know that this would happen. We're starting to believe they have a time machine hidden somewhere. The U.S. beats Sweden in curling at the Olympics. The Simpsons can even predict the outcome of the Olympic Games. In 2010, episode called Boy Meets Curl, where Marge and Homer compete in curling at the Vancouver Olympics and they beat Sweden. In real life, the U.S. men's Olympic curling team came out of nowhere and crushed Sweden even though they were behind. That's exactly the way it played out for Marge and Homer. This Simpsons episode aired eight years before this incredible U.S. victory in the 2018 Winter Olympics. Maybe the writers are psychic. Seriously, this is beyond coincidence. How could anybody have predicted an Olympic curling victory? Michelangelo's David Censorship. In the episode titled Itchy and Scratchy and Marge, the townsfolk in Springfield protested against Michelangelo's statue of David, opposing its appearance in a local museum. They called the statue obscene because of its nudity. This episode aired in 1990, 26 years prior to a censorship headline in Russia. Apparently, in July 2016, Russia campaigners were voting to clothe a copy of Michelangelo's David statue that had been erected in central St. Petersburg. A local woman launched a complaint saying the plastic replica was an eyesore and a bad influence on students at a nearby school. They called the campaign to put clothes on the statue's private parts, the Dress David Initiative. Letter from the Beatles. In 1991, The Simpsons showed Ringo Starr from the immensely famous band The Beatles, answering fan mail that had been written several decades prior. In September of 2013, two Essex-based fans got a letter from Paul McCartney in response to fan mail they sent the band 50 years before. The fans sent a recording to the band too. The package was sent to a London theater where the band was going to play, but was lost. It wasn't recovered until years later. A BBC show called The One Show gave the fans their letter back on TV. They also gave the fans the reply from McCartney on the show. The Donut-Shaped Galaxy In 1999, in an episode titled The Saved Lisa's Brain, the famous physicist and cosmetologist Stephen Hawking is hanging out at Moe's with Homer. Stephen says something pretty interesting. He tells Homer that his theory of a donut-shaped universe is intriguing and that he may have to steal it. And then he punches Homer in the face with an electric boxing glove. Do. Four years after, Homer's yummy theory was discussed on the show. Scientists discovered radiation patterns that suggested the universe is a round tube shaped with a hollow center. They call it a torus shape. Cosmology never looks so delicious. And that's 20 times The Simpsons predicted the future. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on The Things.